Hi everyone, it's Margaret Manning here with 60 and Me. Hope that you're doing great today wherever you are. Now, this video is for women in our 60 and Me community who still love to play with makeup and beauty products. Now, I do beauty tutorials and, and makeovers and just have fun with makeup. Uh, encourage older women to have a go and, and just try things they've never tried before. There are some amazing new products uh, available now, um, affordable products from the drugstore. And I'm going to talk today about um, a look with, with using the colors of blue in, on my eyes from the Believe Makeup Beauty line. Now, this is an exclusive line to Dollar General. Many of you know about it because I've talked about their foundation before. I absolutely love it. And uh, so I'm going to do a full face and, and play with um, with eyeshadows in the blue range. I've got a palette here, which is from Believe. It's actually very pretty. I've never done a makeup application with it before, but we're gonna have a go. So first I'll get started. Let's get going. I'm going to apply the foundation first. This is the Believe um, Beauty. It's called, um, I think it's just called Skin Finish Foundation, $5. Now I've tried this foundation against others that were 10 times as much, seriously. And it's really a very nice um, foundation. So I'm gonna apply that first. I don't go too crazy. I've actually put some uh, facial oil on my skin first. It's my Growing Younger Gracefully, which I use all the time. Um, and that's given me a bit of a, a primer. I'm not going to put any other primer on, just the, the foundation. So maybe two, maybe two and a half squirts of that on my little palette here. I'm gonna, where's my brush? It's a radiant foundation brush. It's kind of a flat top, which is really nice for applying foundation. And I'm going to start. Now, as I put this on, you'll see right away, it's, it's, it's actually, it looks lighter uh, as I apply it than it actually is. It, it um, you know, it changes color as it dries and you don't actually need very much. I'm going to try to apply this evenly and I'm just, as I said many, many times before with this foundation, it just surprises me every time I, I wear it, how beautiful it is on older skin, particularly. It's got a nice glow. It's not overly dry and mattifying, and it's just really nice. I love it. I put it on my eyes as well. And it, it actually has good wearability. It stays on for many hours. Okay, I'm going to just do my forehead now. And then I'm going to look in my mirror to see what I've done here. It's always challenging to do it in my phone. But is that easy to apply? You don't need to work it, at it too hard. It just it just goes on. Don't ever forget your neck. That's important. And, and even your ears. Just get that whole skin looking the same color. I'll get my, my brush or my mirror here and have a look. Okay, just... I don't actually bother with concealer anymore. I'm not going to apply any concealer on my eyes. I just put a bit of the, the foundation and then that's usually enough. Okay, let me just move that bit of hair there. Okay, I think that's actually a pretty good start for the foundation. Let me see if I've missed any spaces. I always seem to miss one space. <laughs> and you can build this up a little bit if you want to, but I'm not gonna to go too, too crazy. I think that, um, you know, natural beauty, natural makeup for older women is the way to go. You just don't want to put too much foundation. You know, these wrinkles are not going to go away magically. And it's important that you just feel like you're not overdoing it with the foundation, that you're just letting your natural beauty shine. So that's the foundation. I'm going to pop on really quickly some um, uh, blush just to get a little bit of a balance with the color because the eyes are going to start to come to life. I'm using the Believe uh, Cream um, Shadow. It's called Doll Face. And again, it's under $5. I'm going to apply it with my fingers just on my cheeks, starting not right in the middle there, but just a little bit to the side and up towards your ears. And I'm going to use another uh, powder blush later, but I just wanted to put this on to sort of get started with um, the color on my face. So let's just uh, do that. Okay, this is actually a really nice cream uh, blush as well. And again, it's like $4 or something. It's very, very reasonable. So I'm gonna just, isn't that nice? I mean, I love cream blushes these days. I'm really getting into them. They're much more natural, I think, on older skin and easier to apply. So that's the foundation or the uh, blush. Now the eyes. I'm going to do my eyebrows first with a Maybelline product. I did not get an, a, a brow product from Believe. It's my brow tattoo. It's even rubbing off because it's, I've used it so much. But for me, 
my eyebrows are disappearing. They're starting to thin and, um, you know, fade in color. So I use this one. It's a, like a miniature um, brush. It's actually quite um, small, but I like it because it's, for me, it's a good um, uh, brow gel. And um, I'll leave the links in, for all of these products, by the way, in the description of the video below. So let me just do this real quickly. Now, eyebrows, of course, are super, super important. And if you can bring your eyebrow just into a little bit of an arch, that's always good. But when you are dealing with kind of non-existent eyebrows, <laughs> I know it's kind of challenging. I'm going to fill that in there a little bit. And for me, this is blonde, the color, and I really like the, just the um, ease with which you can apply it. It's not a big deal at all. You can just sort of brush it up a little bit and then get this piece right here. So that's the brows. And, you know, you can take a lot more time with brows if you want, and you probably would, but I just wanted to get started um, and show you what, how easy it is. Now, just as a foundation for the eyes, I'm going to use a con concealer as a primer. It's the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate, which I really like. I've used this now as a, instead of a eye line, um, eyeshadow a primer, just popping a little bit of this on the eye. And when you're doing something like a color you've never used before, it's probably a good idea to have a good base. So just dab a little bit of that all the way up to the eyebrow. And it gives you something to work with. Just a tiny, tiny bit. I'm dabbing it on with my finger. From the, it's like a dough, dough applicator. It's actually quite nice. I like the Revolution products. Some of them are lovely. Um, and this one works for me. So that's the eye primer. And now the blue shadow. Now, I've learned from working, um, doing a, a smoky eye, that you want to kind of make sure that you're not just putting like lines of color, that you're actually blending it all together. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with another palette from, from Believe. It's this one called um, Love Struck. And now this has got pinks in it, but it's got a really nice brown on here, which I'm going to use to just in the crease of my eye to get started. So I'm using that from that Believe palette. And again, these are all under $5 each. So let's start there with a sort of angled brush. And this is just a little one I've been using forever. I don't know even who made it, but I'm just going to dab in that very light, well, it's a medium brown, this one here. And just go uh, on the, uh, the crease of the eye. And I'm going to put blue in there in a second. The blue is going to appear, trust me. I just want to start something that's a little bit neutral and then blend into that. Okay, so I'm just doing on the crease of the eye. Just gently, you can kind of do like a windscreen wiper movement. <laughs> That's always the easiest way to describe it. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Now, on top of that brown, I'm going to put some blue. And it'll be blended together, so it won't be like a stark, you know, like blue outline. And I couldn't decide really which color to use because there's a, a white for just shading, you know, above the, under the eyebrow. Then there's a very pale blue. These two are darker than they look. And there's a gray in the middle there too, which is kind of interesting. But I'm going to try it with just this, um, the middle blue on this line here. I'm going to start there. I'm just going to use the same brush because I want to blend the brown with the blue on the, on the a crease of the eye. Now it's going to look a little bit dark, but I'm going to do some shading in a second. So don't panic. Blue is a really nice color to work with in your eyes. So, and I'm taking it kind of all the way across to the edge. Okay, let's do the other side. Oops. Okay. Right, so I'm bringing that across. I need a little bit more on this side, I think. Okay, I hope that's going on evenly. I'm trying to look in my mirror and in the phone at the same time. So that's kind of blending with the with the brown and giving you kind of a not such a intense blue look. But I'm going to shade it again with the with the lighter blue in a second. So now I'm going to take a quick look to see if that's even. Just a teeny bit more on this side here. It's actually a very pretty blue. It's kind of a smoky, smoky blue. Okay, now the light blue I'm going to use all over the um, the eye, and that's this one here. 
and it's going to look a little bit light to start with but again I'm going to blend this all together shortly that's actually I really like that it's very pretty <laughs> I'm just enjoying the, the color which I've never seen on my eyes before it's nice and just bringing it up into that crease line and then the other side wow it is just so vibrantly it's like the sea I love it Okay, so that's the blue, the light blue. And blending into that uh, darker crease line changes its texture as well. And just, you know, just take a little bit of time to just blend it in. So let me see what that's uh, looking like. Okay, now one final thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of dark blue just on the very, very edge of the eye. And I'm going to use that darker blue, that kind of really vibrant one that's right here and see what happens. It's so blue, wow. But just a tiny bit on the corner. You can see what I'm doing there, just a teeny little dab, but not coming into the center, even the center of the eye and then just gently bringing it up into the um, into the crease. That's actually a very pretty blue, you see? It's the darkest one in the palette. And then on the other side too. Wow. And if you just put on the edge and just make sure that you, in a minute, I'll just put a bit more of a conditioner or a concealer there. And okay, that's actually very pretty. I like it. And then what I'm going to do is just with the, with the brush, just bring it up in the crease again. So it's just all blending together. Just gently. Okay, wow, I'm really liking this blue, it's pretty. And I'm going to do something above the eye in, in a moment. So I think the best thing is to take another brush and go back to the palette, uh, the one I was, the pink one that I was talking to, because it's got a very pretty, a lot, a kind of a, um, a brown, more of a uh, beige color rather than white. And I'm going to take that and put it above the, uh, the blue to fill that little gap in there using something not pure white, but more of a cream color. And up over the eyebrow, under the eyebrows. Just to give it a little bit of blending, so it's not, and I think that really does add something to it. Let me have a quick look in the, in the mirror. Well, I really do like this blue, <laughs> surprisingly, but I'm going to do one more little thing with the blue because I think it's, for me, I need a tiny bit of light and I'm going to take um, a kind of a glowy beige color in this pink palette top one and just touch this, the very center, just right there. Okay, that just gives that a teeny bit of glow, which is not all blue, it's just a little bit of, of, of contrast. This side too. Okay, I think that that's actually what I was trying to achieve. What do you think? <laughs> I think that's pretty. It's blue, but it's not intensely blue. And what I would do, by the way, is I take um, the the, foundation, the concealer, I can find it here somewhere. What do I do with it? Da, da, da. Here it is. And just take a very quick dab here just to bring it up so you're not you haven't got anything coming down on your eye there just dab it into the side okay so I think that is the color that I want on my eyes and then of course mascara you can use any of your favorite mascaras but I'm using the believe one because I'm keeping it consistent here it's not a bad mascara actually for the price I like it it's not as voluminous as I, as ones I'm used to but I think this is okay and I'm going to put it all together as a believe full face here so I hope that's kind of what I was trying to achieve with the blue but here we go with the mascara and actually, I, I like it. It's not clumpy. Uh, it's not got fiber or anything on it, but very, very simple. I think it's pretty. I like it. And I think with, when you've got eyes that are that 
uh, strong, the color is that strong, it's good to put a little bit extra mascara on. For, in my opinion, that's just the way that I would do it. Because this is not a, in my, it's not an everyday look. It's not something that you might go out to the shops in. Although you could, and why wouldn't you? <laughs> you can do that too. But I'll just pop this mascara on. A little heavier than I might have usually done it. Okay. I think that's about even. All right, I like it. What do you think? So let's see now. One more thing to do is my blush because I promised you that I was going to do something fun with blush after getting all the rest of this done. And then of course I'll do lips. But um, the blush I'm going to use is again Believe product and it's this, I've used this so much. It's Rosy Glow and it's um, it's really shiny and because it's a highlight brush blush, it's beautiful. I'm just get my brush here and I'll show you what difference it makes. I'm just going to apply that gently. I like it because it's not just a blush. If you can feel like you're getting a bit of a texture with the glow, I like it a lot. And again, it's part of the Believe line. It's rosy glow. Okay. Yes, I think that, that just gives a little pop to the cheeks and you need something to kind of balance it. With this type of eye, you really don't want a big, you know, intense lip though, I think. So I'm going to be very kind of conservative with my lipstick today. I'm going to put my, uh, this is getting so down to the bottom. It's my BH um, uh, lip liner. It's called Endora and I just love this one. It's like a mauve color, which is perfect with the blue. And I will put that on. You can go a little bit over the lip with this too. It's kind of easy to do that. And so for lipstick, I'm going to use um, not a Believe product, but Milani. I've got a really lovely Milani lipstick, which I think is really great with this kind of an eye look. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a pink and it's called, I think it's called just Natural Rose. They do the best lipsticks. I love Milani lipsticks. And this one, I wish I had bought different colors in this blend. It's a satin kind of matte. It's really, really pretty. I'll place it on. Okay. So I really think that that lipstick goes with the with the look, with the eyes. I hope you like it and that you found this was a useful application to just you know play together with putting on this blue makeup for the blue eyeshadow and, and blue eyes for the first time. Uh, I would also, um, there's one thing I thought about and I did bring it out here to look quite, yeah, is the lips may not be strong enough or they may not be bright enough. So I've got this really beautiful um, gloss. It's called Melted. It's by Too Faced. Maybe you've used this. I love these lipsticks, but I just sometimes just dab a little teeny bit on to make it kind of just pop a bit. So let me try that. So there it is. Okay, so this is my my look. I'm happy that I, I tried it. I'm not sure I would wear it every day, but I do think that the blue is kind of fun. And I hope that you got some inspiration from it. That's what this is all about, really. Just try new things. Try things you've never experimented with before. And when you've got a line like Believe, which is so affordable, you can go out and play with that and get a couple of palettes and, you know, just have fun with the whole process of bringing out that inner beauty that you feel inside. So I hope that you've had a good time with this. I have enjoyed it myself. Thank you again for being here. And thank you so much for all your amazing support. Have a really fabulous day wherever you are and uh, take very good care. Stay safe and strong. Bye-bye for now.